<laughs> rocking, yeah. Mm. Turn my mother theme music up. <laughs> I'ma edit that. I don't want to talk. I don't want to curse. Okay. Josh, you in the building, Josh? Yes, sir. We back. Queen World Wolf, are you in the podcast. building, Wolfie? We cannot hear you. <laughs> Demi, Money Mark, are you in the building? Yeah, we back. Another episode. Let's get it. Demi, <laughs> Demi, we're back. And hey, we're back better than ever. <clears throat> Round of applause. There we go. All right, we go to that music, go to that music. Enough, enough, settle down, settle down, damn it. Okay. <laughs> you know what those laughters are about. The damn coyote. The damn Wally coyote trying to get the road running. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Seven years of chain. Damn it. Chain go unchained. Oh, man. Oh, you bum ass nigga. Oh, you bum ass nigga. We shall get to you, sir. But first, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Facto Show. Oh, my real ones. Shout to y'all. Round of applause to all the real ones. You know what I'm saying? We got super producer Josh Hammonds in here. Josh yes, Hammonds, what's sir. up? What's poppin'? Facto Show, we back live. This episode is sponsored by God is Great Paper Straight. That's Stay a fact, fresh. though. G-I-G-P-S. And you can't forget what else we sponsored by. Queen Wolf, you know we sponsored by Queen Wolf. Tell the people we sponsored by, damn it. We are sponsored by... Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Freedom! Yes. This is this is paid for in full by Scott Free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That guy, he's a wonderful guy. You know what I mean? We got some new cast of characters here, but we'll get to that later. In the words of Kenneth Montgomery. Damn it, Money Mark is in the building. Round of applause. Yeah. How you been, sir? I'm good, man. I'm glad to be back. You doing good? Oh, yeah. Come on. You know glad we back. back. We got our freedom. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We go and come as we please. As, as we should. You feel me? There might be a few haters throwing banana pills in the, in the way. You know what I'm saying? But what they did was they threw the banana pills and then they turned around and walked backwards. And they fell on a banana pill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to these monkeys, you bum ass niggas. Yeah. Can't do nothing with me. How many times will you not... How many times will, will you guys uh, take until you get it? No fuck niggas formed against me shall prosper. This is not gonna happen. I'm 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 highly blessed, highly favored. God is great in the paper straight. I don't promote the bum shit. You niggas promote the you promote negative bullshit, and that's what you get back in return. This is a fact though. What are you doing for the community? It's fake activists, fake tough guys, fake fake real niggas. And man, I don't know what these guys are. Cause you go to jail, that means you're a real nigga. That means you're just a real dumb criminal. You need to fucked up. That's a fact. Shout out to the real men out here. Yeah. Feel me? Chain O! <laughs> Boy, we gonna get your bit. Oh, you fuck, you bum it. You dirty bum ass nigga. Oh my goodness. Money Mark in the building. Queen Wolf in the building. Josh Hammers on the board. This is the facto show. Welcome all the real ones again. I can't say it enough. I can't thank y'all for the support enough. I need everybody to go and get that damn uh, pre-order of the new album, Dead Hate I One. <laughs> pushed it back for two weeks. Just get it right. I'm, uh, there's a reason why I pushed it back, but just uh, trust me when I say this is the most. It's gonna be the. It's gonna be the the fucking uh, 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 epitome. What, 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 it's a word for it. Epitome. It's gonna be the epitome of classic rap, hip hop. This this shit is gonna be. If this shit ain't top fifty albums all the time, I swear it's better than any of my other work. And I didn't already That's did true. it with with New York City the album. I already done did it with Major Without a Deal. This is my best work. Let me let y'all in on a little secret. 
the weakest song on that track is I don't care about none of that. That's the weakest song. Lying, I'm flying, damn it. You don't got no, you don't got no hip shaking music. Man, man. <laughs> none of that, none of that. Real man music. I don't have no feeding for features music, and you know what I'm saying. And right. I don't got no bottom feeder music like you niggas. Chain O, you fucking bottom feeder. <laughs> you bottom feeding ass. Chain-o. Oh my goodness, Drano. That's the real name, Drano. You feel me? But we'll ride with Chain O for now. The people have spoken. Damn it. <laughs> what we got going on in America in these days right now? You know what I'm saying? And the haters are opping up everywhere. It seems they yeah. they teaming up, ain't they? Yeah, that's crazy. It's like the hate. It's like it's like hated haters united. And they all go to they all go to the uh they all a part of the um the BAN. The United the, Haters Nation. The United Haters Nation, but it's a big umbrella that they're all a part of and it's called the BAN. It's for bum ass niggas. Mm. <laughs> shout out to all you shout out to the Hater Nation <laughs> underneath the BAN umbrella yeah. of bum ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? I remember Bill <laughs> had a, uh, on one of his shows he had the haters the haters ball. Yeah, the haters ball. Yeah, haters ball. yeah. <laughs> hate, hate, hate. Hate, 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 hate. <laughs> Yo, they should. We should hold one of those. We should hold the hater awards. You feel me? Yeah. Ooh, let's do that. And Ooh. we're we'll sponsored that by Freedom. Damn it. <laughs> we're sponsored that by Freedom. Yeah, I see who's gonna get the <clears throat> the Ratstone Award. Hater of the year. Hater of the year. Ratstone Hater mm. of the year. Yeah, Hater of the year. You feel me? We're going to see who gets that award. Millennium. And these niggas is foaming up, man. I yeah. I feel like we... See, now what this shit is like... You know, I got the I got the dark cloud off me. I feel better. I was feeling like... I couldn't be loose. I couldn't be myself. I was still me, but I wasn't myself. You know right, what I'm saying? Because right. it was just like... Uh, you're going to go to jail any day. You know what I'm saying? You got, you can't got to watch what you on. say. It was... It just I I don't know anybody who ever had that type of feeling, but it really really sucks. You feel me? Like I'm a I like to have fun. I like to enjoy life. I don't like being a bum, grimy, dirty shit. You feel me? Right. I like to be Talk joyful, getting money. You know what I'm saying? Like if you listen to my music from day one, it's always about getting money. It's always about motivation. It's always about doing better for myself and others. It's a kind of a plus for niggas making yeah. that type of music. I ain't on no bum shit. <laughs> Drano! Oh, man. You know what's crazy? Before you get into, you know, um, your album is called Dear Hater, I Won. Absolutely. Dear Hater, and, I Won. You know, you just wrote it to Dear Hater. And it seems like all of these people are coming out the woodworks and addressing themselves. So are they the haters? Are, are they? Do they consider themselves to be the haters? Because That's a good point. They're coming out of the woodworks, like, oh, what did you win? What did you? Win? What did you win? They're all responding. Right, right. You know, it's like they're feeling addressed. That's a good point. Damn it! You know what? It's like, it's like I said the trap. I put the trap out, and they all came. All the rats. Pause. They all did. They just we dropped a little peanut butter on the floor, and they all came out. Is he talking about me? They felt offended. Is he? Is he talk? Who's he talking about? Damn it! There you go, my headphones are locked in. Who's he talking about, damn it? They were highly upset. Yeah. I didn't put no names on it. At first, I was, it, was, it said, dear hater, I won. I was, I had won. I didn't put an ass on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that shoe started fitting, damn it. That shoe started fitting. Everybody went to squeeze their foot in. Squeeze their foot right The shoe busted out the front, turned into a Fred Flintstone top. slipper. <laughs> <laughs> they feel me? Haters all piled in the car, like, and it started scrambling. Bitty, 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 bitty. You feel me? These yeah. dirty niggas. And what do they think? When they team up and combine. I mean, for somebody who people say, oh, Chuck Abs, he's not a big deal. Uh, he doesn't, oh, he's nothing. Uh, it shows it's taking a lot of people to, uh, Gather up their uh, energies and and all of their resources and try to take me down, little old me, little right, old me. Bro. How you feel about that money, Mark? I feel like we have a bunch of motherfucking grown man haters, the grown men liars. What is the difference, money, Mark? We got it. <laughs> I'm a grown man. Oh yeah, right. It's certain, no a, it's certain age thresholds that make you uh, the grown man. You become a young man. Yeah, you be a, a man, a young man, a grown man, and then you become. Yeah, an old man. When you're almost eligible for AARP, mm-hmm. 
things of that nature. When you could go to the movie theaters for six dollars, <laughs> seven days a week. Right, right. You it's, know what I'm saying? It's a couple of these haters that uh are right there. They about to start getting the paper in the mail about AARP. They can sign up for it. Damn it, damn it, Medicare, not Medicare. Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you know these fake activists, these activists, and these goddamn thieves. Yeah. I said, got G-O-T. We don't, we don't call the Lord's name in vain. These goddamn thieves, they probably already got it if you, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> we know they got the EBT card. Why wouldn't they get an early AARP? Right, right. Why wouldn't they fraud the government for Social Security? These damn bottom feeders, these damn, they're like, they're like dirty strippers that'll, that'll pick up the money off the floor. But they're mm. picking up chains. <laughs> <laughs> Bum ass nigga. Oh man, he really thought he was doing something. Go ahead, money market team. I'm sorry. Still laugh at these niggas, yeah. man. We managed to, like you said, we set the trap, put the peanut butter down, managed mm-hmm. to draw all these motherfuckers out. Numbers running up. It's, it's been crazy. It's blessings on top of blessings. Blessings on top of blessings. Because we destroy, we we destroying, we destroying the hate and spreading the love. Indeed, indeed. That's a fact. We spread, we bringing the community together, and the community that comes together is we got one mission: to spread love and destroy hate. Right. It's right. us, never them. Real versus fake. That's all that's going on here at the Facto Show. You feel me? Other people they have uh, intentions on doing other bullshit. They don't have never got good intentions. They never bringing the people together for a common cause and a better way of life. Right. I'm showing niggas better ways of life. I'm showing. Hey, listen, guys. We don't got to do basic shit. Let's get multiple streams of income. Let's work. We don't promote laziness. Hey, we don't gotta always sell drugs or scam. Hey, they got trucking businesses that we could do. I don't never hide the hustle from the people. We never right. hide the hustle. Hustle fraud, no paper. You see me? I'm a hater. I'm a hater. Oh man, no. you, oh you bum ass nigga. I got you. I got you coming soon. Okay. Uh, that's why I feel like we so blessed, man, because of the things we do, the work that we do. You feel me? We doing that good work. You know, the 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 blogs might be fooled, right? They they get excited when they see all of this because they love to go. Oh, somebody is doing this to Troy Ave. They're going. All this is happening to Troy Ave crazy, but you know who's not fooled? Who's that? The most important people. The people. The people are not fooled. They're right. not buying what y'all selling. Y'all are selling some cheap <laughs> shit, and they don't want it. Right. Round of applause for the people. Shout out to the people, man. Round of applause for the people that are not fooled. Not fooled. Every time they put up comments, uh, every time they put up a post, the people are under their comments. Mm. The real ones out here. And you see sometimes the haters link up and he I seen uh I seen uh mice in the hole. We smoked him. I haven't heard from him since. He ain't speak. Right. He popped up under the comment. He thought it was over. He, he thought it was over. <laughs> oh, we we got him. We got him. We got him, damn it. He woke up out of bed like yeah. You feel me? And he woke up, put that ugly ass face to his phone. <laughs> Typing with them unmanicured nails. Fucking phone crack. Dirt ball. You, you <laughs> fake <laughs> activist. Yeah. Yeah, you dirty, man. It's a common theme. Struggle Mice rappers, fell rappers, and these dirty, bum ass niggas, man, they hate me. And I get it. I'm everything they're not. You feel me? Yeah. I don't have hate in my heart for anybody. I might not like or I might not choose the, uh, I might not prefer these people being around them, but they hate me. Oh my goodness. Josh Hammonds, we just warming up. I want to get into a commercial, damn it. Cause we running it up Let's right go. now. Let's get into a commercial. Josh Hammonds, run me off a 30 so facto show. It's gonna get spooky, Let's I go. promise you. <laughs> it's time to celebrate. Dead hate I won. It's time to elevate. Dead hate I won. It's all my real ones that been riding with me and riding for me. This all album, you hear me? It's all sound check the success. Proof, living proof, they can't nothing stop us No matter what obstacle coming our way We cannot be stopped God is great, the paper straight God is great, this album straight It's called Dead Hate I Won We bombing on the new pop or something This is Tom's team, you can dance with me Grave, you can piss on yourself Troy Ave is back with a vengeance Real ones love Mm-hmm. 
hustle, fraud, no paper. Yeah. You see me, I'm a, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. You see me, I'm a hater. <laughs> Say no. Say no. <laughs> wow. Let's What's up? Welcome we back, everybody. With a little, little back. Fact of show. Welcome yeah. back, everybody, to the. To, welcome back to the number one. Uh, do we, can we call ourselves number one? See, we don't. We don't. We don't deal in falsities. It's right. the fact of show. We're not number one. We're number one to a lot of y'all watching. You know what I'm saying? So, to all our people, we we're number one. Definitely the number one independent label on the East Coast. But we ain't gonna do that. We're not like these other people. It froze across the board. It's a whole board and it's nothing but froze. It's laid out. Okay. <laughs> Clean wolf with the news. So a little backstory. Mm-hmm. Um, Angela the Angela Yee had uh Mayno on her what is it, a podcast? Uh, her Shout out to Angela Yee. Shout out to Angela Yee. We just so had live and new. Live and new. Yes, yes. Didn't see no bum ass sneakers there though. No, yeah, they couldn't afford not, it. Yeah, they, not, they wouldn't be there. Not giving away free food there. Okay. So, um, Chano was in there giving a statement. Okay. Um, and the statement, <clears> I mean, giving a gave, statement. Oh yes, a statement. He he wasn't in court. Yeah, but I'm he gonna was, put my Nikes on for this one. <laughs> Taking off these Javinci the slides. He was on the Angela show, um, giving a re, his own Stepping recount on niggas. of. Um, the events that happened uh, the night, you know, the Urban Plaza, you know, debacle. R.P. Banger off the rip. R.P. Banger. R.P. Banger. Real one. Rest in peace, Banger. R.P. Banger. Real one. seems to forget that when they're having all of this back and forth conversation. Fuck everybody. I remember. We remember. So he's up there. Fuck everybody. Everybody don't count. That's a fact. He's up there. I remember. He's saying uh, free tag stone and... He doesn't feel that the way, you know... The well, way we don't want to misquote him on a fact of show. I think he said shout out to Ratstone. Oh, he said shout out. Yeah, he said, okay. he said shout, shout out to Ratstone, out, man. Shout, shout out to Ratstone. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and this is somebody who has openly spoken, you know, that he is, you know, in support of Banga and RIP and all this other stuff. So I don't know how you can RIP and shout out to Taxstone. It's the hypocrisy the for me, huh? Right. It's the hypocrisy. It's not it's the hypocrisy. It just doesn't make sense. But he feels that um, you didn't take enough accountability in the situation. He felt that... Oh, we're going to get into that word. Shout out there. to... Excuse me, Queen Wolf. Shout out to accountability. <laughs> we're going to get into that word. We're going to get into that word, accountability. Okay, yeah. guys. Let's go. Back to, back yeah. to Chano. He, he, he feels that... Um, he said he was there the whole time. He saw everything go down. He was the last What the fuck person. was he there talking about? Yeah, he was... It was Oh, he was talking about everything. Okay. I mean, like, what the fuck was he a guest about? Talking about being a 50th birthday? Like, what was he talking about? (laughs) His 50th Uh, birthday. um, (laughs) Chain O's 50th. Chain O. Anything else showed up on the internet besides the part about you? Hey, because I'm I'm a hot topic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You niggas don't count unless you talk about me. You bum ass niggas don't count unless you talk about me. This nigga got to team up with niggas and all kind of bum shit. You don't count. That's a fact. Your life don't count, nigga. Nothing. I'll keep continue on Queen Wolf. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, he said he was there the whole time. He was the last person to leave, which we know is a lie. Uh huh. And um, damn it, I got the damn it, I got the discovery. He said the way that the way that the story was recounted in court was not the way that it went down. Wow. So wait, 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 hold up, ice cream Chuck. Hold up, ice cream Chuck. Was he in court? Oh, where did he get his news from? A bunch of bum ass niggas that was at court on a weekday from uh uh ten a.m. to four p.m. Don't you niggas have jobs? Niggas mm. who didn't pay attention in school, didn't graduate high school. Hold on, shout a recap of everything that happened. Shout out you bum. <laughs> shout out you bum ass groupie niggas that only showed up in court to see Troy Ave. I got to see this nigga. I can't. <laughs> oh, like, it was crickets in there. You can hear a needle drop before and after. Damn. These bum ass niggas showed up to see Troy Ave. Yep. It showed up for Malcolm Kenyon too, man. Malcolm Kenyon, man. He, he, you know, he know. He held the, he held the small room. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I think but it was the second biggest room. Yeah. But it was packed. Niggas had to wait outside to get in to see Troy Ave. Yeah, a- Buy a ticket. We got a tour coming. Uh, um, okay, back to Drino. So, yeah, he said that the story didn't go the way it went. He said that you were the niggas. aggressor. You said I was the aggressor. You were the aggressor. Can I just stop right there? Can I talk on that? Sure, go ahead. Chano. Chano. 
you know what? It's not about you. This is bigger than you because you was a little nigga to me. This is a fact, though. Everything about you is a little nigga to me. This is a fact, though. Okay, sir? We'll run off the list of accolades if we need to. Feel me? But nevertheless, in the words of Kenneth, get you convicted Montgomery. <laughs> we'll get back to that. It's a fact, though. It's a fact, though. Okay. So this whole the aggressive thing. This is what it's a narrative. Like I don't know if y'all noticed, but when it comes to when it comes to me, when it comes to Chuck Evans, the haters and naysayers, not y'all, not the real ones, but them, they keep moving the goalposts. They keep coming up with different stories and different narratives. First it was, oh, Choyav shot himself. Choyav shot his man. You know what I'm saying? I had to yeah. I had to sit with that. I had to live with that. I was in jail. I said nothing. I, I sat down with that. Then I bail out. Oh, Choyav is snitching. How do you get bail? Cool. I had to live with that. I, I had to live with that. I had to sit down with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Choyav has bad energy. This is what the people are talking about. Oh, he came in the room and and he was the aggressor. It was it's all kind of shit. That aggressive shit didn't start happening until after Ratstone got arrested. This when this when you hear this start to appear. When he gets arrested by the FBI, oh Troy Ave Riley, he snitched on him. Hold up, ice cream Chuck. First of all, this is untrue. It this is all untrue. I sat down, I sat down, I sat down while this cocksucker was, uh, I got shot on Christmas Day. This cocksucker tweeted, if he dies, he dies. He tweeted, if nothing is a coincidence, and tried to take credit for that. You didn't, you wasn't a part of that, pussy. You was not a part of that. But it's okay. These are all the things that be in the street that I leave in the street. Because I'm not going to get into all that. I'm, I'm not these niggas. I'm not going to sit up here and Vlad TV my, Ooh, my you shit. Words right out my mouth. You feel me? I'm not these niggas. Um, the difference with me is I'm actually a high school graduate, sir. I actually chose not to go to college. I'm, you, you feel me? It's a difference. You feel, I'm, not you, I'm not you dumbass niggas that was in the small class around the corner with eight people. <laughs> not you niggas, man. Don't ever get it fucked up or confused. You hear me? You hear me? I don't represent bum-ass niggas flipping on dirty mattresses. You hear me? I don't represent <laughs> bum-ass niggas going to jail for dirty bum crimes. All our crimes is about getting money. You feel me? So. Damn it, all our crimes is about bettering our life. You feel me? Yeah. And damn it, if the violence is necessary, we'll take it there as proven. <laughs> okay. Back to these monkeys. Whew. All right. So how did you guys actually, like, encounter each other? Like, Let's take you back to day one with... Chano Drano. Take it back to day one. This is the fact of show. It says it up here. We only dealing facts here. I have nothing with with I'm no skeletons. What you niggas gonna pull out? Like this me. He was little, oh. No, he said you you guys had a history. He knows you. He he, 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 he said something about I was he where he met me. Come on, we gonna look, we we're gonna deal with facts. You got his story, then you got the facts. This is a fact of shows where facts happen. So my first encounter with Chano. Was at a gas station on Bedford Avenue and Atlantic in Brooklyn, New York, across the street from a shelter. This is a fact. Now, the way uh, Mano accounts the story, Drano, sorry about that, guys. A little sidetrack. He was Mano at the time. We'll call him Mano. This guy says, Yeah, I met him. He was at, always noticed how these niggas would try to pacify us, a little slight hate. Yeah, yeah, I met him. He was giving out his CDs at a gas station and. You know, I didn't see none of the the bricks and the and the jewelry and none of the and the benzes. That's what he said. Yeah. Hold on, sir. Hold up, ice cream truck. Anybody in Brooklyn get in the motherfucking comments right now. I never gave out a CD in my life. <laughs> wow. First of all, sir, all my CDs was for sale. That's a fact, though. I don't give a fuck if you had the CD. The price was five dollars. I don't care if you had three. I don't care if you had one. But you was buying that. Right. Cause Choi Av ain't a bum ass nigga Choi Av is a motherfucking hustler That's a fact though Okay Shout out to the hustlers Hustlers ain't a part of the BAN Or the United Hated Nation You feel me? Okay furthermore So now I meet this guy He says yo I'm like yo Ed Yo this is my new CD cop or whatever He starts to tell me about his rapping Yo yeah I rap my name ain't no Okay yeah I seen your shit on DVD son yeah. You know what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. good Boom 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 
Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not gonna cap. I don't remember if he bought a CD or not. But right. what we okay. did have in common, we all went to the same studio in Best Star. It was called uh, a Fully Focused Studio. Shout out to Ryo the Crook. Fully Focused Studios with responsible for a lot of shit coming out of Brooklyn. We all went to that same okay. studio. Right. Now I'm from Crown Heights. He's from Best Star. The studio was around the corner. It was on No String and something from him. Cool. Mm-hmm. Now let's get to the details. When I met this main old character, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, he wasn't even a character this time. He was just a nigga standing at a gas station. He's successful? I, oh, oh, he was hmm. what? Was he, was he successful? I, I'm gonna, it didn't appear to be. Okay. But I'm, we only going to deal in the facts. We'll <laughs> let the people decide if he was successful. Okay. Cool. Now, at this time, I forget what, which mixtape I got up. Um, I wasn't just hanging out in gas stations. I was selling my music. Oh, anybody in Brooklyn could attest to this. I would go anywhere it was people in cars. And I was parking up, and we was bringing niggas to the car to come get the uh, CDs when we drive through the hoods. So if the blocks is like this in the road, and the avenues is like this, we'll go like this. Mm, we'll be all through them. Pulling right, up, right. hey, yo, come get this CD. Yo, this is my new shit. This is your ass, man. Support it. We independent, coming out of Brooklyn, doing our thing. How much? Hey, yo, $5. Damn, I'm fucked up right now. Take it for three. All right, all right, bet. Oh, yo, here, take it for a dollar. Just see me when you see me. If you don't like it, I give you your money right. back. This is a fact. Right. Mm. We're only dealing facts mm. here. Fact, though. Not Chano or Drano, but fact, though. Okay, cool. <laughs> so now back to when I first encountered this guy. You know, this guy calls me aggressive. Okay, okay. I meet this nigga in the gas station. I go to, hey, yo, this my CD, son, whatever, whatever. He like, hey, yo, I rap too. Yeah. Boom. That's the number one thing that bum-ass niggas say when they not trying to buy support. Hey, yo, I rap too. What that got to do with my CD, my nigga? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But he say, yo, I rap too. My right. name ain't no. Okay, yeah, I seen your shit on wherever, wherever. You know what I'm saying? Cool. So now we go and discuss some shit. I said, all right. Bet. End up spinning. But here's, here's a particular detail. What car was I in? I was in a, a Chevy Tahoe. I, my, my Tahoe was probably like a 98, 99. This year was probably 2003. Whatever it was on 22s when niggas wasn't riding that. So facto. Okay, okay. Paid for. This was mine. I, mind you, I'm a little nigga. I'm, I'm 18, 17 at the time. You know what I'm saying? And here, this is, this is my shit. Huh. You had that. Whatever. Cool. Nevertheless, what kind of car is Chano in? He's in an Avalon. No. A Toyota Avalon. <laughs> nigga, don't play with me. You been a bum. You was a bum-ass dirty <laughs> nigga. He's been an Avalon. Avalon. He's in an Avalon talking about he rap. What are you rapping about? I need niggas in the comments to go look and see if he ever rapped about having an Avalon. Damn it. Because I rapped about my Tahoe. Wow. I rapped about my Volvo. I rapped about my Benz. I rap about my Lamborghini. I rap about my Maseratis. Nigga, I rap about my Bentley. You niggas stop playing with me. We ain't the same. You hear me? You a little nigga to me like I've been saying. Sir? Mm. Mm. Mister? Like Cam said, how you older than me but still a little nigga? Mm. Sir? Wow. Okay, Mr. Mr. Drano. So, Boone, that's my first encounter with this guy. Cool. Mind you, he's in the same studio as me. He got more... He got more... Uh, uh, clout and notoriety than me Because he's on the DVDs and shit I'm coming out the mud I'm, mm-hmm. I don't got nobody backing me You know what I'm saying Shout out to 80 80 80's the only one who can stop this 80's the only one who can stop this And I'll tell you why Because that night When I was picking up my man from the floor And Chano, Drano, Mano Was running around in his socks Looking dazed and confused And didn't want to help me 80 say yo help that nigga pick him up and right. he was talking to the fat nigga with the bed. I don't know his name. Long story long, that nigga came along to try to help. Right. Shout out to 80. All right, cool. What does GIGPS mean to me? I mean, God is getting the paper straight. You feel me? Like, I'm super blessed. I'm blessed with good health, good energy that I give and receive. And that just comes from me really being a genuinely good person. It's like the love outweighs any negativity that may come my way. That's how I'm able to go through so much and come out stronger every time, you feel me? I pray a lot, not just only for myself, but for others. And with that in mind, I design these clothes, really thinking about peace and comfortability, because that's really two of the main things that I personally want out of life. I'm here to motivate, spread love, and destroy hate. I'm Troy Ave. God is great and the paper's straight.
know sometimes it always be real niggas around fake niggas sometimes because they got loyalty to them. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it happens. I've been a part of that bullshit. But anyway, nevertheless, we never did a song, never did nothing. Uh, Chano went on to have the success of High Hater, dropped the album and everything. You know, it's crazy. I even bought his album. I bought his album from Erskine Mall, mm. Gateway, mm. and I paid $10 mm. in Target for his album. It, right. N- not because I'm... Not because I was a fan of his music at all. I can't tell. I can't tell you two songs that was on there unless I heard it on the radio. T Pain was the second song I heard. But what's that? All of the above or some shit. Like all of the that? above. Yeah. But yeah. the album. I bought the album. I bought more than one copy. If niggas go do the researches, somewhere with me buying a couple copies. I bought the album because he was from Brooklyn and doing what I'm doing, and I was just showing love. It's the type of nigga I am. Okay, cool. Right, nigga, right. if somebody from my town make it, then nigga, that's what's up. Right. I'm a, I'm gonna support that. You yeah, feel me? Y'all make it. You're not a hater. Cause I'm not a hater. Damn it! Only haters is gonna understand this in these comments. <laughs> only the brothers, not the others. Yeah. Nobody else gonna understand that in these comments. You feel me? Cool. Buy the album. Um, goes on to have success, or whatever. And then you know I'm still grinding. Never. I was never bitter. Never upset. Like you know. Mm-hmm. That's what many many people didn't pass me had they turned and went. I I never hated. I just grinded. Right. I knew I was grinding. Every day I grinded, I got closer to what I wanted to do. Every day I didn't sign a record deal and I had money in my pocket, I got closer to what I wanted to do. You feel me? Right. Never, never been. I never been a why him, why not me type of nigga like these niggas be. They sound like bitches. Why you love her? Why not me? <laughs> Back to that thing. These <laughs> niggas dirty strippers, man. I'm telling you, they been down and picking up the money in the chains. I'm trying to tell you. Go. Cool. So now he goes on to have some success. Now I start coming up. You feel me? Off the muscle, off the hard work, off the grind. I ain't got no backers. I ain't got no big homies. I'm not a bum ass rapper with other niggas with money invested in me. Like yeah. Chano. I'm me. Off the, off, the, off the muscle, I'm me. Didn't ask nobody for nothing. I grind it myself. Cool. Now I start mm-hmm. dropping songs like, um, you know, my first record was uh, I'm from New York City. I I put that out. Um, I um, BK BK rep with my heart. Like these are real records that I paid my own money back. This is way before you had video shot in digital. I paid film. I paid thirty thousand dollars for a video, my own money, cash. Yeah. It was on BT. Niggas could go do the research on it. Right. I started to come up. I started to do my thing. Now, Chano, Drano. Um, it, let me let me fast forward to later on. I think I. I, I dropped New York City album. Cool. Everybody's a f- fucking fanfare. Fanfare. I put everybody that, you know, I was a, a, a fan of on Major Without a Deal, but New York City album was me. That was like my work coming up from everything. Cool. Now, here's where these bottom feeders come from, like Chano. Here's where they come start looking for features and help and handouts and collab with. Nigga, I've been grinding. You ain't want to collab before. You feel me? I might have said, let's do something... At the gas station or around the gas station time, and you kind of spun me, uh, uh, and yeah. just spun me. It never happened. Yeah, I yeah. never ask again. What I look like? Yeah. I don't. I was just doing all some Brooklyn love shit. I don't need these niggas. Yeah. I really, as y'all, yo, shout out to all the people that stand tall and don't need niggas. I've yeah. shown time and time again. I don't need niggas. I don't look for handouts. Self made and self paid. I mean that. Cool. So now back to this uh, chain of character. Cool. Chaino. Chaino. Draino. <laughs> now I start coming up. This guy's calling me for features. Hey, yo, Cho, yeah, yo, come to the studio. We gonna do this. Boom, we got a picture. We got a picture of that, me and him. Cool. Hey, yo, yeah, get this. Yo, this is hard. We go back and forth. I smoke him because I smoke all these niggas. I'm undefeated in features. I smoke right. all these niggas. But I don't smoke niggas in a way like, yeah, I got that nigga. Like, I'm doing my thing, nigga. You do your thing. Smoke him. Called me for another feature. Let's get to the. Let's fast forward to the point of um the lights, camera, action video. Cause this is what he said. I brought his name up in court. That's a falsity. That's not a fact, though. You know what, sir? Kenneth Montgomery, the lawyer of your good friend Ratstone, actually brought your name up in court. We met at a uh uh uh. You had Ratstone at a video shoot called Lights, Camera, Action. Now let me tell you a funny story about the Lights, Camera, Action song. I recorded that record on a late night in New York City at a studio somewhere in Manhattan. I don't even know the exact studio. 
But I went there with a rapper named Fab, Fabulous. Shout out to Fabulous. Showed me a lot of shit coming up in the music shit or whatever. Cool. Oh, we gonna get to Fab in the jury shit too. Okay, cool. <laughs> Remind me to go back to that story. Yeah. So I go in there and then I meet another rapper named Meek Mill. Shout out to Meek Mill. Yeah. Meek Mill's in there, they ordering sausage and eggs in the morning, pause, pause and eggs, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's him and him and the crew. Couple right. of dream chasing niggas cool. Meek Mill doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? And Meek is like, hey yo, man, I got my balls, when I get my hooks right, niggas ain't gonna be able to fuck with me. Now, mind you, Meek is already out. He got on my boss. He doing right, his right, thing. Right, right. So he like, yeah, Charlie, yeah, I heard of your shit. I fuck with you. Whatever, cool. We dap up. And yeah, I'm trying to do my thing at that time. I don't really got no. This ain't this before freshman cover. This before the real big album. This like bricks in my backpack. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, whatever. Right. I go do a hook for Meek. Let me jump on his hook. Yo, just play a beat. Cause a lot of times when artists they they, they artists don't be having hooks. They got bars, whatever, whatever. And that ain't no shot. A lot of people don't. Yeah, yeah. So I was good at hooks. Yo, throw the beat on. I knew, nigga, it's my opportunity. This nigga doing his thing. I'm, I am I want to get on whatever. Them niggas could have threw on fucking Yankee Doodle. I would have dropped the hook on it. That was fire. <laughs> I throw the hook on that bitch. Niggas like, hey, oh, yeah, that shit hard. That shit hard. I bet. I'm going to throw my verse on it. Boom. It was a hit song for him. No doubt. My nigga do your thing. I spin. All of a sudden, I listen to a mix show or some radio, some shit, and I hear the song come on the radio, lights, camera, action. I'm like, oh shit, it's my hook with the Joy F, Meek Mill, Chano. Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, hold up, Ice Cream Chuck. So he didn't, yeah, he wasn't in the booth with you? Was he in the what? <laughs> Was he in the who? What? What? What type of dick riding ass nigga you gotta be? I would never. I would never. Now, well, you know what? Hold on. Let me let me get to the bottom of this. I don't know if um Meek Mill gave him this song. You feel me? I don't know if Mano just stole the song. But from the looks of it, when I appeared at that video shoot, that they did tell everyone, "Hey, girls." Just to get the, this how to this how to get the women in. I ain't gonna say bitches. I get bitches. Yo, girls, this is a Troy Ave video shoot. And mind you, like I said, I wasn't big yet, but I was big in that city. Kind of New York, Brooklyn. I was big coming up. Hey girls, it's right, Troy Ave right. video shoot. Come through. Troy Ave Meek Mill. They left Drain off at the end. I get there, there's no Meek Mill. It's just me and me and Chano and his shit. So I never even asked. I never even cared. I'm like, right, I'm already here. I wasn't like, nigga, how you get the song? Meek Mill. If anybody know Meek Mill, Meek Mill get in the comment. What, nigga, did you give him the song or did he steal the song? Mm. If he stole the song, he's a bum ass nigga. Mm. I said, and you didn't do the video. I don't blame you. Back to a Meek Mill story. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with these bottom feeding ass niggas. Shano, Drano. For a nigga to want to do a song with a nigga bottom feeding, trying to take a nigga clout, wasn't you the same niggas that was talking about why is niggas letting Meek Mill ride dirt bikes and different shit in the city and yeah, niggas should was. rob him? Yeah. He said niggas should be robbing this nigga. Wow. He shouldn't be riding, being here doing this. And then you turn around and do a song with him. You steal a song. Exactly. It's a common, it's it's a common theme here. You're a thief. Okay, sir. A pickpocket at that. A low down two bit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even a real thief. He was a bum ass nigga thief. Okay, cool. No problem. So um, hey, do the song, Meek Mill. You gotta verify whether you gave that nigga that song or whatever. I I didn't know. I said, man, is is Meek Mill is Meek Mill soft? Did the nigga take this song from him? Because I don't know him to judge that at that time. Right. And nigga take this song or did he say, yo, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Because the nigga take a song from me. Nigga, cease and desist. Fuck out of here. About take to say, the, can you authorize? I'm, um, I don't know how he got it. I don't know if he stole it out the studio while Maggie was bleeding on the floor. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to leaving your girlfriend bleeding on the floor, stealing out the studio. <laughs> it's a common thing. You know, we'll get back to that though. <laughs> Same so way, I get on this song. Do all the shit for I I think I only asked him to do one one record before, and that was just me showing Brooklyn love. And if y'all notice, go check the history. It wasn't on any of my real Troy Ave projects. It was on a BSB mixtape. I was really getting a a song for Young Leave the Bro and the other homies, Blocksdale, King Seven, <laughs> real shit. I said, man, this nigga's bigger than them. All right, come on. I did a couple of favors for you, nigga. Here, jump on this joint. 
You know what I'm saying? Post. Right. That was it. Never, never act, never was a fan of none of that shit at all. Don't get it fucked up. Okay, cool. Now, the thing that really hurt these niggas, hurt a lot of niggas. Then it didn't, it didn't hurt no real ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing about Uncle Murder. Can't ever say Uncle Murder ever been a jealous nigga. Shout out to Uncle Murder. Shout out to Uncle Murder. I can't ever say, and you know, we got. We got we got ties, we got family ties and shit like that incoming, you know what I'm saying? Some of our close people. But I I've been supporting Uncle Murder shit from mixtapes when he was had the, the, the shit on Pickin Avenue to, at, in the store. We all had our mixtapes in the same shit. When he had the mixtape with the crack on the table. It's a lot of it's a lot of niggas coming up in New York doing all that that never been no hater. Niggas that's just always been trying to get their own, do their own thing. Just like me. That's a fact. When Uncle Murder had this song, Brooklyn, all that shit, I was like, yeah, I seen that nigga come from the bottom. I wasn't up yet, mind y'all. I was not me yet. You feel me? Nowhere near. Cool. Right, right. Back to back to this bum ass nigga Chano. Chano. So let's fast forward on. Where, where was I at before? I lost my train of thought. You talking about Uncle Murder. Okay. Uh we was we was talking about Merc, not not being hated. Cool. When I did Summer Jam, that hurt a lot of niggas' heart. Mm. I was the first independent artist ever to be on the main stage of that summer jam. The main stage, like, not the the festival, none of that shit. Like, nigga, Choi Ave is on there with all the names. Me. Right, right. Independent. Double XL freshman right. cover. Me. Independent. Nobody ever did that in the history. Mm. That's when niggas started getting a, why him, why not me? A little seed. A little seed you feel me? Oh, you niggas going outside Ben Cool Now I can't say I never I never liked Mano Or I never Disliked him It was just Called you shit Every time I seen him He was respectable But I knew he just Had a way about him Where it was like Alright Whatever nigga Like he ain't Step on my toes Like I ain't yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying So let's go to a point Where he said um, I used to call him I used to call him I just called him Big oh, bro God, it, nigga, nigga, you bum ass nigga. Cut, nigga, this is the fact of show. This is where the truth starts and the lies end. I called the nigga for one advice. I said, and I, I hit a bunch of people at the same time. Meek Mill was one of them. B- bunch of people. I even text back Jay Z. People who were already I, it's a fact. People who were already <laughs> right. established in the industry right. that you were breaking into. But 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 this is particular for him. The only thing I ever that, asked this bum ass nigga. I say, yo, bro, how you deal with all the hate and all this shit in this music shit? And I think it was relevant because he did have a song called High Hater. He did. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I didn't understand it. He was a hater at that time. It's okay. the only time I asked him for anything. Other than that, it's him reaching out to me or or, or her reaching out to Hovain for me to do shit for them. It was never none of that, ever. Big bro, nigga, that's not even in my vernacular for niggas. Mm. Are you dumb? Two niggas I ever called Big Bro. My man Muff, shout out to Muff. d Argyle. One of the realest niggas I know. Shout out to Muff. And 50 Cent, because he inspired me to start doing music and shit. Right. But that, and, and not, I don't even use that shit loosely. One or two top type shit. I'm right, not a Big right. Bro type of nigga. I'm not a little nigga. I, I am the Big Brother. I didn't grow up with no older siblings. You feel me? Right. I ain't when he dick right, yo, Big Homie, yo, Big Who? Big what? I've spoken right. to Jay Z and never called him Big Homie. Right. Right. Like you dick rod niggas. Exacto. I don't own a Rock Nation hat. I just never got a check for Rock Nation. Well, I'm not these niggas. Shout out to niggas that stand tall on their own ten, you feel me? And back to this aggression thing. Should we go to a commercial or just go straight to the aggression? So I wanna I mean Let's do one more and then go. Loyalty don't have a price. It's all if I love you, I love you. It is what it is. Real right. Cause I don't give it to everybody, so it's special. It's not fake. That's why this shit hurt different. Cause I love different. It's time to celebrate. Dead hate I won. It's time to elevate. Dead hate I won. It's all my real ones that been riding with me and riding for me. This all album, you hear me? It's all sound check the success. This is proof, living proof. They can't nothing stop us. No matter what obstacle coming our way. We cannot be stopped. God is great, the paper straight. God is great, this album straight. It's called Dead Hate Out One. We bombing on the new pop or something. This is Tom's team. You can dance me, grave, you can piss on yourself. Try to have back with a vengeance. Real ones love.
Let's go straight to the aggression. Yeah. Yeah. Straight to it. Back to this aggression thing. So Shane had a lot to say after um after his man a fucking convicted, you know what I'm saying, guilty in court for for the crimes he did, bum ass dirty nigga crimes, you feel me? And he had a lot to say. Like I told y'all before, they keep moving the goalposts. There's always something different. When I win, is this another? Hold on, move the goalpost back. Hold on, hold on, move the goalpost back. Hold on, he can't score yet. Hold on, flag on the play. So now the new theory floating around is that I'm the aggressor. After it's all said and done, they got to say something else. Right. I'm the aggressor. Now here's a factual story. We're gonna deal in court facts. We ain't gonna deal in opinions. You feel me? We ain't. We this is bigger than the facto show right now. We're gonna deal in court facts. I walked in that motherfucking Irving Plaza to go perform. Nothing else. I walked in that motherfucking Irving Plaza to go be a special guest for T.I. Right. Nothing else. Right. Anybody that knows me knows Troy Ave. I'm not a nigga that be out at shows, out at concerts. I ain't gonna lie. The last concert I've been to in real life, That on, I swear all my money I can't even remember mm. I know I love that money I can't remember The last concert I've been I don't go I'm not I'm not fans of these niggas right. I play some music In the car Nigga you know I listen to I listen to the spinners mm. You feel me Like I listen to Classic shit yeah. Delphonics and shit They smile in your face right. All the time They want to take your place To backstab <laughs> right. Like I listen to shit Like I'm not a fan of you niggas I'm a fan of the money. I work, I'm only in rap shit to get to the bag. And along with getting the bag, I realized that I could motivate people when they fuck with what I'm saying and it helps them. And then cool, that became a more, a different passion of mine. But I'm not a nigga hanging out. You're not going to see me hanging out in the, in the, for what? For what? For what? And not at that time. No, I was getting paid. It's a hosting. So cool. So mind you, um, back to Chano, this nigga I did multiple songs for for free. Right. Did videos for free Like this old shit That you get paid for Right He said he considered me A little bro Or a little homie Whatever Whatever he, Whatever he said And um And Now so After all that They mean to tell me You got Niggas that's talking down on me Niggas that's stalking me Niggas that's threatening me Niggas that's Just Being all out haters Uh Towards me In your dressing room What type of real nigga shit is that Right it's nothing real about that. That's all fake, fake nigga shit. If you ask me, in my opinion, my opinion counts because we already see I'm standing ten toes down. These niggas is not cool. Now the narrative of I'm an, I'm the aggressor. Come in the room. It was a girl lady. These are all court documents, right? So the girl comes. She lies in court. She says Troy having them busted in the room and they started and they just went after tax. It's a fact, man. You could look from you could look from the video. When we came in the room, we got stopped at the door because it was super crowded. People take pictures. I did peace signs of people. What's up? I'm smiling. I'm shaking hands, kissing babies. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking right. through. When, where? Who? Where? Fuck all that. Back to the real story of the aggressor. So when I come in the room, we're walking. My hand is on Bang's shoulder because that's how we move. When we come through, so he makes sure that you know I'm with him while we walking through. Somebody in front of us parting away so we could get down to T.I.'s dressing room. The door that we enter is right here. This is the small VIP. We walk up the stairs. We go into the small VIP room where uh, Chano was at. And he was at his, uh, 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 they was opening up, whatever. Now you go from this room to the next room, right? It's a door. It's a small ass room. You're not even walking 10 feet to the next door. After we get stopped here, yeah, a bunch of saying what's up. Okay, yo, watch out, y'all. Troy have coming through. Cool, we walk up some more. As we walk up some more, I hear, what's popping? What's popping? Two times. Loud. I'm not paying attention. I'm thinking niggas talking. I'm just whatever, whatever. I'm still saying what's up to people. But now, mind you, I've seen Aston over there on the walk-in. Right. seen Aston over on the walk-in, right? right? He just did a little, I ain't say shit. Nigga, I'm not fucking with you, nigga. You know... I seen you on on somewhere social media hanging out with niggas that been hating on me, niggas that been okay. stalking me. You feel me? Niggas that been talking down. And now, mind you, asking over these pictures. We could pop up the pictures of him being around. 
Being a dick rider Niggas let them hang around and shit You know what I'm saying Let them hang around Through 8-Ball Shout out to 8-Ball too man 8-Ball you made me mad But shout out to 8-Ball So now Mind you This is ain't no busting in the room We We walking It's a hold up Right Cool Now we hear what's popping What's popping two times I'm not paying that shit no attention Because there's mad people talking Niggas yelling whatever whatever you know when I paid attention, when I hear Bang of God Bless the Dead say what's popping back? Mm. That's when I get on high alert. Like, right. I know my man, why his tone is like that. Right. So you hear what's popping, what's popping? And Bang like, nigga, what's popping? Mm. So now I look, okay, real quick, I think quick on my feet. Everything. I'm not these niggas. I'm really quick on my feet. Okay, asking over right there, this voice saying what's popping, it gotta be Ratstone. Right. You feel me? Cool. Nevertheless, now I look over and he's like bluffing. Now mind you, banging telling me, so I'm still behind him. So he like bluffing, what's popping? And holding his waist. Doing all this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you not a pussy nigga, if you any type of in the know or anything, y'all know that's an act of aggression. Yeah. You brandishing at that point. You feel me? Off the rip Man in cases If a nigga say What's popping That's an act of aggression Right Now the thing With a lot of these people What they can't understand is How then Can you look over See a nigga in his waist On the hip with it Saying what's popping And reaching And then not cower And then not have fear Struck down from your head To your toes And then not turn around And walk away And then not back down Cause I'm built different that's what they wanted. It's a fact, though. I'm built different. When it's fight or flight, I'm gonna always choose to fight. It's a fact. Right. I run in a burning building and I save the people. You hear me? I'm not with none of that. So at this point, back to this aggressive story. At this point, Banger turns around, looks at me, and Banger says, "Yo, I'm gonna rock him." I wink at Banger. Do your thing. Not letting rats don't know I'm aware of him or there's no argument or words between us. Yeah. But as Banger turns around and looks at me, I look over to the side of him, and now Rat Stone appears to be pulling his fucking pistol off his hip. Mm. Am I gonna be like these other soft niggas and be like, cause first of all, Banger's my man, it's not my security. Right, right. He'll hold me down just the way I would hold him down. Right. Niggas it, any type of way. That's a fact. If somebody come in here right now, guess what? I'ma defend us. We gonna all defend each other, but does that make I'm your security? Nah, I'm nigga. We holding it down. How we supposed to do? You feel me? So when Banger's head is turned, looking at me, I look over. I see this nigga pulling. He went from what's popping, what's popping, reaching, and now he pulling. I'm not gonna wait. Hey Banger, watch out! Hey yo, look, he got a gun. Hey yo, tap him. Yo, push him in front of me. Yeah, oh, watch! Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to let my man get shot with his head turned. So nigga, I reach over him immediately. There's no words talk, and I go and tag Stone's face. With the right Hit him with the right Reach for the gun With the left yes, That's when everybody Start pushing Oh And I get pushed over to, to the left side And I fall down I don't fall down To the floor Cause it's mad people in there I fall on top of people All kind of shit But I fall to the left So mind you This act of aggression Shit he was saying They, they make it look like I came in there Oh there didn't go And just went off the nigga said, what's popping? Yelling, what's popping? And reaching for a pistol. Right, right. And what, what do most people do in that situation? Yo, you got it. You got it, family. All right. All right, I'm going to see you again. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, nah, it ain't even that serious. It ain't if not me. They would have they had you on every blog for the next 10 years. I ain't. Way. It wasn't even, a. it ain't even about that. It's about me being, me being a man. I stand on man principles. Like I don't never I don't pick and choose that way. That's a fact I'm not Chano right. I don't pick and choose So For everybody Want to say The act of aggression These are court documents This is really what happened The act of aggression Was a nigga yelling What's popping And reaching for a pistol yeah. The act of aggression Was a nigga Yelling what's popping And reaching for a pistol The act of aggression Was a nigga yelling What's popping And I'm turning around And looking over my man's shoulder And him pulling that pistol And I go in his mouth immediately And reach for the pistol With my left hand Mm -hmm. That that, that was the first act of aggression I had a reaction My reaction wasn't like A bunch of these uh, Scary niggas So they want to try to paint it A different way 
Like 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 Manolo Coke up the nose. How he could do that? Yo, we reached no with the gun and shit, nigga. You're soft, nigga. <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy, you <laughs> soft, boy. Wow. Boy, you know what I know. You know what I know. Mm. But we ain't gonna get into that. He's also shaped like an egg, so he's not. He's not. You feel me? To maneuver <laughs> in like an egg. He looks, looks like, like a fish out of water. He, he looks like a blowfish out of water. Like, like the eyes, the glossy eyes. Yeah. You need to go to the doctor and get that checked out, sir. Pancreatic. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's giving. Yeah. It's giving pancreatic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. We ain't, gonna, we ain't putting that on you. I'm just telling you. So anyway, for I get it how people can't understand this. I, I get it how even down to the point of when... I, I get shot in my car on Christmas. I drive myself then way halfway to the hospital. Wolfie was there. Yeah. It was no panic. It was calm. It was right, let's figure this shit out. That's a fact. Let's figure this shit out. This shit got to get figured out. That's a fact, though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nevertheless, man, let, it, that, like I said, that was the act of aggression. But we gonna get into some other shit. Just let's shoot to a commercial real quick, and we'll get back to this Drano Mano cocksucking motherfucker. <laughs> What does GIGPS mean to me? I mean, God is getting the paper straight. You feel me? Like, I'm super blessed. I'm blessed with good health, good energy that I give and receive. And that just comes from me really being a genuinely good person. It's like the love outweighs any negativity that may come my way. And that's how I'm able to go through so much and come out stronger every time. You feel me? I pray a lot, not just only for myself, but for others. And with that in mind, I designed these clothes Really thinking about peace and comfortability Cause that's really two of the main things that I personally want out of life I'm here to motivate, spread love, and destroy hate I'm Troy Ave, God is great, and the paper's straight And we're back, and we're back, and we're back. Damn it. Oh I'd like to welcome everybody to the fact of Shell Queen Wolf, how you feel? I'm feeling good. I'm I'm excited that you can finally, you know, get the business clear on, on, on this story because people it seems like the more you stay quiet, the more people just concoct these wild Delusional stories of how <coughs> monkey they shit. remember you like monkey shit. Monkey is, shit. Where does it come from? It's like monkey say, monkey do. Yeah, this happened, this happened. They just run and they try to fit their own narrative. It's crazy. He said, I don't like the narrative of how Choi Ave is playing and what, nigga? So what's your narrative? Give your statement. But, you why feel you, me? And if you and if you felt like it was wrong, why you didn't go in court and be part of the defense the losing defense team? Shout out to Drano for being weak in court. You weak in court ass nigga. You found guilty now, I'm a whole court ass nigga. <laughs> what a fucking clown cake. Yo, listen, sir. i show you the difference between these niggas. But we want to talk about selective outrage. Ladies and gentlemen, people in the facto show, real ones, fake ones, ah, we don't acknowledge you. We're talking about selective outrage. All of this uh, imaginary, mythical shit. Now you know he's the tough Billy and, and all these no 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 nigga you're not. You're not, sir. Um or what you say you wasn't who you think you was and all it was Hold up, Ice Cream Chuck. Let's talk about who you are, sir. You're a nigga When I was driving a towel on twenty twos, damn it, you was driving a Toyota Avalon. That's who you are, sir. You a bum ass nigga that wears promotional free clothes. <laughs> That's who you are, sir. <laughs> you a bum ass nigga that can't put two dollars together but got a fake two hundred fifty dollar, uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollar Richard Milley. Mm. Mm. Stop the cap, sir. He's a fake tough guy, wanna be bully, but you only pick and choose, nigga. Yeah. Real men don't have picks. Look at my whole history of life, nigga. I take them as they come. I knock them down. I don't never start no trouble, but I will finish it. You hear me? I take it as it comes to me. 
Who you getting into shit with? Young Berg. <laughs> <laughs> Little C's. Shout out to Caesar Leo. No disrespect. Um, little bl- teenage bloggers in the club. Yeah. Smacking white boys on MTV. He did do that, right? He, that's yeah. a fact, though. Yeah, I seen that. I mean, that's a fact, though. Yeah. <laughs> Accountability. Right. Accountability, sir. Now you came with this fake gangster shit. A lot of niggas is fooled by y'all fooled by these these uh these big niggas with all this rah rah loud talk. I'm not fooled by that. Real gangsters don't talk loud. You hear me? I seen uh, these niggas yeah. in situations panicking, running asses and elbows, soft pussies. You hear me? Assing over pussy. You hear me? I seen joints backed on them. Stomach. Yo, now nah, yo, you go up to yo. What? What? I ain't do nothing. Yo, mm. I swear. I seen niggas back for their life. I seen Chano run out of his shoes, looking panicked, dazed and confused. Mm. In a pressure situation. I seen him leave his bitch bleeding on the floor. Mm. It's a fact, though. Mm. Chano don't play with me. I got the video on my discovery. I dare you say something, nigga. I dare you say something. I dare you. Cool. But this is the difference. This is who you are, who I am. When the pressure's on, nigga, I perform. When the pressure's on, nigga, you get going. Mm. Let's not forget the fact that you left 80 in that room. Shout to 80. You left 80 in that room. Like I said, 80 is the only one who can stop it. My man 80 is in the wheelchair. He got shot by the police, unfortunately. He got paid for that. He's a rich nigga, though. But he left his man in the wheelchair. Troy Ave would never. I would never. I would never leave my people. That's just not what I do. You hear me? Right. You let right. God the fuck out of here. Every man for himself. Everybody ain't leave. Hood ain't leave. Hood ain't leave. Any man that says he's the last person that leaves the room is a liar. Is a liar. Is a liar in a mano voice. <laughs> Shano, you left. You left your. You left your girlfriend dying on that floor. That's well, we know up. now why why he left in such a hurry. You left your man that you was crying for his summer Janet did everything for you. You left him in there. You hear me? You left him in there. That ain't, that's not real nigga shit. This, this is a fact. Somebody stop me when I'm lying. You hear me? Left him. Right. And mind you, I say, 80's the one that say, yo, help that nigga pick him up. That's a fact. Cool. So back to the people he got problems with, Youngberg. Little C's. Like, no disrespect to Little C's. That's my word. Word to all my money. Um, what's the other nigga? Oh, white boy from MTV that he smacked. Um... Teenage bloggers in the club doing YouTube skits. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. People of that nature. But let's see who you wasn't aggressive with. I was just about to say, does he have any like real issues in the streets? <gasps> Free Rod Diggs. Oh. Rod Diggs, a real, a real life problem. A real life problem. Anybody, uh, if you want to know about Brooklyn rap, y'all go check on Rod Diggs. He has some shit. Another nigga that came up. All these niggas was coming up before me. I never hated. I always said, that's what's up. And you know Rod Diggs is a personal friend of Bangers. Like that. Mm-hmm. From the same hood. Shout out to Trife Gangster. He'll elaborate on that. Trife, man, they all from the same cloth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, stop playing with Trife. He ain't no slouch. That's why you call him Mano, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we on we on you. We on you. Okay, cool. I'm trying to clean up his mess since he since he opened his mouth, huh? Mano was shooting a video. You know, one of the projects, nigga Wanners. I can't remember what it was called. Rod Diggs walked over, he said, cut this shit off. Niggas can't film in here. Oh, Mano cut that scene. That was the end of that video. Oh, shit. He's a fact. This is the wow. facto show. Right. He's a facto right. show. Rod Diggs got a line. I'm going to paraphrase it. But he said, niggas comparing me to Mano. Uh, oh, well, I ain't Mano. I ain't tell. Mm. This is Rod Diggs. Yeah. Free Rod Diggs. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you. That's cool. So back back to this. Uh they know he got uh he's tough for uh Youngberg. He's tough and got his chest poked out for little C's. He's tough for uh, uh white kids on uh MTV. And he's beating up little bloggers in uh in the club. Okay, cool. Rod Dig comes around, not a sound. 
shit gets scary for him. <laughs> scary nice for him. You hear me? My sound face. You hear me? My sound face. <laughs> it gets my sound face when Rod Diggs come around. It gets my sound face. <laughs> or is it crickets? We don't know. Okay. There's another brother by the name of Alpo Martinez. Mm. Chano with a lot to say about him. A lot to say about him. Alpo comes home. Riding willies all through the streets. Right. All through the streets. He wasn't hard to find. He was walking in niggas. Okay. Alpo was outside. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. You hear me? He said, fuck it. I'm out here. Shano was quiet. Yeah. as a church mouse. Now, it all makes sense because, you know, like we said, real men don't pick and choose. You take your battles as you come. Right. You lay in the beds that you set. You hear me? These niggas sit and talk about niggas, and then when they around, it ain't it ain't nothing. It's it's they turn to fairy dust. You hear me? <laughs> fairy dust. Quiet as a, quiet as a church mouse. That's a fact. So he had no energy for Rod Diggs. He had no energy for Alpo, and it makes sense because you know, um, Alpo they around the same age. Alpo was fifty four. Mano's fifty. So he probably yeah. was outside and seen. Yeah. Yeah. Mano's fifty. Alpo's fifty four. Around the same age, yeah. so yeah, so he so he seen Alpo in action doing shit. It's like you being in going to high school, you in ninth grade, you see a twelfth grader, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I never seen Alpo in action. I was the fuck. I was in my pops nuts. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't even outside. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't outside. You know what I mean? At all. I thought he was in his. I thought he was at least in his forties. Like my. Oh, that, that brother. No, no, no. He got oh, two no. more oh, years. He can get ARP. It's oh, it's oh eight. He's been hating for a long time. He was hating for a long time. He wasn't hating in jail though. He wasn't hating in jail. He was a fucking civilian. Mm. Back to other brothers. Spring of brothers like boxing bar. Shout to East New York. Pooch, what up? Feel me? Huh. Bring a brother like I said, brother that ripped him in the face and gave him that nasty buck fifty. Mm. Oh wow! Boxing ball <laughs> gave him a nasty <laughs> buck fifty right on his face, he cut his alive? whole shit, and then beat him up in jail. He's absolutely alive. He now right now, free boxing ball. He's in jail right now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we we'll get him on the show. We got to call M Records somebody. Get him on the show. He's alive. He's in jail right now. You know what I mean? For some other shit. Um, okay. Niggas play with him and he performed. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know. Bullshit, grimy, bum nigga shit. Like, niggas play with him and he performed. That's what I'm trying to say. Real men, real niggas would never be bullies. We take the problems as they come and then we deal with them accordingly. You feel me? Right. Boxing ball gave him a buck fifty on, on his face and was out here walking in the streets freely, untouched for years on top of years. What was Mano? Wow. Had nothing to say. Rickets. Don't let me get the details, sir. You got picks. You pick and choose. You're not really that guy. Stop pick it. Pick you pick and choose. You pick and choose, sir. Damn it. He's he a pick. He's a picker. Pick he knows how to pick. He knows how to pick them. <laughs> Seven pick years of chain. <laughs> pick him up. Pick him up. <laughs> oh, man. You see me. I'm a hater. You dirty bum ass nigga. The BAN man, I'm telling you, we need to work together and abolish them from the black community. Damn it, I've had enough. Okay. Back just thinking with his picks that he got for people. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let's get to this motherfucking um the, the, the detail. We're still talking about who he is. Sir. I'm a real foreign car owner. He said, I never seen all these Benzes and all this shit. Money Mark, we're going to put the Benz right here in the screen. Yeah, yeah. He never seen all this. He never seen, Like, it's time and time again. Yeah, I'll be proving these niggas wrong. Time and time again. I prove these niggas wrong. They say I'm not this, I'll show this. They say I'm not that, I'll show this. Now, most times, I'm not trying to prove it to them. If I went proving most shit, I'd be indicted and in jail. Right. You feel me? I... Don't ever be out here trying to prove the fake niggas that you real, cause you only gonna end up with a raw deal. Right. Yep. Put that on a shirt somewhere. <laughs> so I tell you, Amano, back to who you are, sir. You're a toy, Toyota Avalon driver. I'm a big truck, 22 inch rims. When niggas wasn't driving 22 inch rims, that's me. Mm. You hear me? You hear me, sir? You assigned to a label 
like a slave asking Cynthia Rome, can she give you some Christmas bonus money so that you could buy gifts because you fucked up? Oh, <laughs> I'm a self-made, self-paid out of my own pocket, getting it out the mud, paying for all my shit, never asking nobody for nothing. Right. Okay? I'm an independent gold platinum record seller. Independent. That's a fact. You have, I don't know what your sales are, sir. Actually, I don't know. But it's on a label. It doesn't count. Have you ever seen a publishing check, sir? <laughs> have you ever seen a pub? If you could pro produce a publishing check, sir, I'll give you $50,000. I'll bet you. I'll bet you you can't add up all your publishing checks from day one. Matter of fact, for the past five years, you produce your publishing checks. They don't beat mine in a month. $50,000 bet, sir. You ain't got it to put up. You ain't got it to put up. These are the differences with us. You feel me? I'm going to tell you who you not. You not me, sir. You're a, 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 a rented Bentley type of nigga. You feel me? How I know you had a rented Bentley? <laughs> R.P. Hovain. Mm. Remember when you got that ticket uh, in Williamsburg? And he was like, fuck, man, I got a ticket on his car. Outside, we was at some some venue. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah, sir, that, that white Bentley, that was rented. You fucking clown. It's all cap. These niggas have cap lifestyles. Not that I give a fuck, because I don't be caring about niggas' business. But when niggas bring, they mix their business with my business, now we going to show your business, because we in the showbiz. You feel me? We going to show your business, kid. You feel me, little nigga? Okay, cool. They go the difference, sir. You niggas posting, oh, I, having Lamborghinis delivered. I mean, oh, so, no. Maybacks delivered to your house. And, okay, yeah, the Maybach came out the chuck. And you niggas making corny videos sitting in the back of a Maybach. It's not even moving. <laughs> Did you niggas say, hold on, let's, let, let us go sit in this, in this car and let's talk about your ass. You and a dirty bum nigga. You know your name. You know your name. It'll come out shortly, sir. You know your name. You dirty bum nigga. Yeah, I'm making videos sitting in the back of a bed. And I kept something on ice for you. I kept something in the reserve. I got something on ice for you. You know oh what? what, what you feel me? <laughs> you know what you didn't keep on reserve? You didn't keep your career in reserve, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you didn't do that. You didn't do that. Wow. A lot of things you didn't keep on reserve, sir. You didn't keep no money on reserve, sir. You niggas don't live like me. That's a fact, though. Keep his old right. IG pics on reserve neither. <laughs> you didn't keep those old IG pics on reserve, damn it. Mm. Shout out to the internet and the real ones. Shout out to the internet and the real ones. Let me tell you, bum ass niggas, something. You delivering Maybachs to your house like that's a big deal. Nigga, that's cheap to me. You a little nigga to me. A little nigga. Nigga, a Maybach is a down payment on a Lamborghini, nigga. <laughs> you a Maybach driver, I'm a, I'm a Lamborghini driver. I'm a Bentley driver. I don't even post my shit. Are you dumb? I got pink slips, nigga. What are you saying? Oh, so we know we know the payments are high. Jermaine, Jermaine Chain, Jermaine the Chain, you cannot produce <laughs> a title with your name on it, sir. You cannot produce a title with your name on it. Cap rapping ass nigga, man. How about how you living, sir? How about how you living? I got six bedrooms, five bathrooms. I shit on you niggas all day, and that's just at one of the houses. You hear me? One of them. One of them. One of them. Yep. One of them. We not the same, sir. We not. And that's what's wrong with you niggas. And it's fucking... Community, you need we the, the things that people stand on that they think is tough and think is something. Yeah, we're gonna have bravado, and then you get around other niggas and you suck dick. You wanna have bravado, but you can't have it the, the same way, sir. These are the niggas that act tough and gangster, and they get around billionaires, and then they, they wanna be fucking uh, uh, pets and puppets. And get, <laughs> what's up, big homie? Yeah, big homie. <laughs> they, get, they get submissive. Call niggas big homie. They get submissive like bitches. Yeah. They get submissive. The reason these niggas is mad, because they had cosigns, they had major label deals and all that shit, and, he, and I still passed them and lapped them tenfold with the money, with the music, however you want to say it. Not only that, you know what, they, they, they envy your creative freedom. They, they envy. envy that you get to talk your shit. They envy that 
No one is saying, hey, yo, take that down. You can't post that shit. You right, can't say right. like, you can't speak like this. If you want to keep your sponsorships, you can't talk like this. If you want to stay on this this network, you got to do this. Talk that shit. And talk about this. There's no one telling you. Bum ass you kitchen know. talk show. He went and posted a bunch of kitchen talk. That bum shit. Yo, get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> That proves that he's a clout chaser. If anything, you're proving you're proving everything that everyone's saying. Nigga, are you dumb? You post 100 episodes on YouTube because right. you realize that now people are paying attention. You niggas need guests. We don't need no guests. Right. People show up to see me. Show AVE. We don't need no guests. We don't. All this dumb monkey shit you niggas is doing. You hear me? That makes no sense. No, no whole lot of features for people. To we don't need all that. It's who you are, kid. You drive a, 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 a well, I'm sorry. You just recently obtained a Maybach. We don't even know the facts on it. Mm -hmm. I'm a Lambo owner. You hear me? Different price ticket. You a little nigga to me. You hear me? You're 50 years old, but you're still a little nigga to me. You hear me? Boy, you hear me? These fucking clowns. Hello. <laughs> we got more. Summergram hurt their heart. These are the origins of where I met this clown, Chano. And now, chain we're going to get to Chain Gate. Mm. <laughs> Exposed. Uh-oh. Chain Gate. <laughs> Uh-oh. My son's around. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we're going to get to Chain Gate. <laughs> Why did <laughs> drop the chain? My son face up here again. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> My son, you scared me with your Hide fucking hideous bottles. face. Hide the bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Josh Hammonds, let's shoot the commercial and we're gonna get right back to Chain Gate. Seven years let's of chain. Go. 29. Chain on unchained. This episode is off the chain. <laughs> this episode is off the chain. It's not all about people hating on you, everybody hating on you, everybody against you. I'm not against you. I don't hate on you. I've never hated on you. I've never had a problem with you because guess what? You could never have been a problem with me. The chain snatch is the back. You can you can easily find pictures of this same the same chain um, around your neck. Troy Abs chain is the latest victim of being captured, held hostage, and being sent on a greasy neck to greasy neck tour, getting lathered in fucking neck grease. This is about accountability. You're obviously not a, a rich nigga that wears real jewelry, brother. You should never talk money and jewelry, please. This one is the diamonds real. real? Very curious. This okay. one here. Oh, no step on my diamonds. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. I just want to check the earrings. That's Troy's jewelry. It's a, it's a We're checking all Troy's jewelry. You gotta check them. What's up? Is it real? Is it random stuff? Everything is real, I can oh tell. A lot, of, a lot of people won't take the jewelry. They're like, oh, okay. no, no, I'm losing. Okay. Uh, fix me. What is this? What, what, Gotti, what is this? What, what is this? What the fuck? This is a piece. This is a piece of shit. This is a, this is. This is a piece of shit. I be in the hood, drop Wrangler. Wrangler. Tell the paper in my post, cause I'm shitting, cause I'm shitting. And the reason why I held this chain is because, and the reason why I held this chain is because. And the reason why I held this chain is because And the reason why and the reason why and the reason why I held this chain is because Let's get that out Any man that get up every day and put this hunk of dark ass metal This is Fugaga This is horrible You can't you what is this? Why don't you put this on and pose in real quick? No, throw that shit in the garbage. Why don't you put this on and pose in real quick? No, throw that shit in the garbage. Why don't you put this on and pose in real quick? No, throw that shit in the garbage. It might have a meet and greet. You might get a chance to take a picture with a damn chain itself, okay? It might do pop-up shops. You never know. It might do interviews. You never know. You need to explain why we got all these pictures of you in the same chain. Because like I said, any nigga that's getting up every fucking day and putting this on and going in front of niggas and acting like they, they the realest nigga in the world, something wrong with them. The audacity. The nerve. The nerve. They gonna say that's not the chain. But it, it's, it's, it's so many pictures where you can pull up and that's the chain. Hold up, matter of fact, ain't that the chain, nigga? That's it. That's it. I'm gonna hold on to this, though. 
Any nigga that put this shit on and come outside and tell you niggas that he, he got all this money, he a millionaire, it's, it's crazy, man. And, and they don't talk money, my nigga. You want your hustle, I always like your hustle. I have nothing against you. But right is right, wrong is wrong, right? What moral high ground are you standing on? Like, where, where are you? Like, hit the share button. <laughs> hit the share button. <laughs> you know what? Dear hate, yeah. I won. I won. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. You a bum. You a bum. Stick a fuck in the phone. Now you done. It's time to celebrate. Dead hate I won. It's time to elevate. Dead hate I won. It's all my real ones that been riding with me and riding for me. This all out when you hear me. It's all sound. Check the success. This is proof, living proof. They can't nothing stop us. No matter what obstacle coming our way, we cannot be stopped. God is ready to take us straight. God is great. This album straight. It's called Dead Hate I Won. We bombing on the new pop with some. This is Tom's team. Dance me, grave, and piss me, so. Try to have you back with a vengeance. Real ones love.